Hey YouTube, this is Ace Pinkter once again coming at you from New Zealand. Uh, anybody in Auckland, give me a shout. Let's hook up. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about a, uh, a new way to do your effects using the vocoder. And uh, this was uh, sort of inspired by Zeus Cool, so props to him. And what we're working with, with right now is a song in reason. Uh, the song is complete and we're gonna create an effects device at the very end of our mix. In between our final mixer, which is this one here, Mixer 1, and our M-Class Mastering Suite. If you have one of these um, before your hardware interface, what we do is we're gonna just click on that, go to Create, a Combinator, and from there we're gonna route this as an effects device. We're gonna intercept our mixer, output, and we're going to run everything through this combinator. Okay. Uh, the first thing is we're going to need to split the signal four ways. So I'm going to create a spider and I'm actually going to create two of these because with this it's it's quite easy to um, get more than one signal. So right there I can get as many as one, two, three, four, seven outputs. And what I intend to do is merge them all together using a six channel mixer. So that just screwed it all up. But um, okay, right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna end up connecting uh, at least four of these outputs to this mixer. All right, and um, right now we have nothing. It's um, basically just in and out, and I don't think anything actually takes place within the mixer. Uh, let's give it one dry signal here. Uh, this will be channel one, that's our dry signal. Okay, so it comes through fine. That's on channel one. And what we're going to do at this point is get a little creative here. We're going to use our digital vocoder here to host the majority of these effects. And let me show you how we're going to do this. Uh, it seems to want to auto route uh, this every time I do it, so we're going to have to override that by holding shift next time. But this is the basic idea. Okay, we're going to take one of the one of our split outputs. We're going to connect this to our vocoder input. We're going to connect the output. Well, actually, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to create some effects. I'm going to use a delay for this one. I'm going to connect it up here, and I'm going to relabel this one to say delay. Okay, so what does that do? Well, not much yet, but if we listen to our sound here... Now when I mute uh, the dry signal, you'll be able to hear the wet signal very clearly. So, uh, basically this is now not so much an equalizer, but rather an effects um, curve, I guess is the best way to say it. I can draw any shape here using any uh, layer of complexity that I want, and it will take the values from this curve and it will send those <laughs> straight to the delay. So for example, if I only want some delay on the high end, kind of a high pass delay, we can do that. Or mid-range only. Not too bad, eh? So this gives you a lot of flexibility with the control of the level of effects and also the frequency bands. It's much, much easier to use a vocoder than it is to have the 15 different equalizers that it would take to get such complex curves out of this. So, um, what's, other, what's also interesting is you've got this shift knob, so uh, if we just make a few spikes here. <laughs> it's a pretty wild effect. So now, of course, um, you're aware that we have four additional channels here to work with. So what we can do is uh, very easily make sure I got this in the right position here. We can very easily hold shift, create another vocoder, 
This time we'll do, uh, let's say, distortion. And I'm not going to wire it up just yet because I'm going to create uh, another vocoder and we'll do reverb. So now the only thing we have to do is take our output from the splitter, wire these up, chain our effects in, and then route these to our mixer. And we're done. So it's really not that difficult. Um, of course, you have to remember to set your set your uh, vocoders to be in equalizer mode, otherwise it won't work. Now that we've done that, uh, we should have only a dry signal. Uh, so I'll mute, I'm sorry, we'll have only a wet signal, so I'm going to mute this. <coughs> done this is I've routed this um, as sort of my main effects output everything that's going uh, everything for in my song is going to be sent through this effects device which is probably not the best way to do it but I just wanted to get get some uh, some quick sound signal uh, to demonstrate this effect it's it's quite easy uh, to have very good control of your effects by using these equalizers not to EQ your sound but rather as sort of um, frequency band gates all right. Um, so if, if you're working with a, a very complex sounding instrument, you could just uh, chain the one instrument directly through this device. It's not so bad a setup, and once you've got it, uh, you can just save it as whatever. I think uh, mine is called Mega Effects. I've got uh, all four bands taken up. And then it's a combinator, so you can route, um, you can program your shift knobs to the different rotaries or something like that. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to uh, share this. is an interesting way to use the vocoder to control your effects, and it gives you quite a lot of flexibility. So uh, have some fun with it. And uh, this is Ace Pinkter signing out. Thanks for watching.